everyone, Electro here, just playing around with the alternator that I rewired, uh, I think it was a week or so ago, I showed you guys before the stator, well this is it, now, out of the nine phases, I'm only using three, as you can see there's only one wire connected, the rest, the other two phases, on each phase, are free, so, out of the nine wires I'm only using three, you could say, um, I've got it hooked up directly to a power supply, uh, I'm feeding two volts, nearly half an amp, into the rotor. Uh, this power supply here is just to power the DC motor that runs the alternator. And there's the scope now. It's connected uh, through both channels of the scope. It's set on two volts. Yeah. Point one millisecond division. Um, when I get it going, yeah, that's channel one uh, out of the outputs there, which uh, which go directly to the cell, and that's the output there. Now, like I said, I'm putting two volts. 0.6 of an amp into the stator and from, well, to the cell it's 4 volts nearly and 0.3 of an amp DC now that's not a lot of voltage and you can see there there's the trace to Positive and the negative trace there is here. Now I'll just turn this off so you, I can't really. I've got to see what I'm saying. If you put them both together, they're, they're not out of phase. If I jump that up to five volts, one and a half amps the stator, that's the waveform there, and here you can see there, and the output increases a lot. Now, at 5 volts to the stator, it's 6.6 .6 volts to the cell at Point seven eight of an amp, or seven point eight two milliamps. Uh, it's also three hundred and thirty one hertz with a thirty eight point five percent duty cycle. Now, the duty cycle is altered by the speed of the DC motor. I'll just turn that off for a sec. But that's a, D, a dual DC supply. Now, in um, series, that'll provide 70 volts at 5 amps, say. But this motor here is 180 volts DC. So, I'm, and it'll spin at 3600 RPM. Now, I'm not getting full speed out of that, so I could change the duty cycle even more if I wanted to, but I'll work on that later on. But the point is, I'm not putting a lot of volts into it, and, um, well, the production isn't too bad. As you saw, the volts going into it were only 6 volts, but on the scope, the... Um, the wave length was not 180 degrees apart, it was both at the same time. Now, I'm looking at that, but I don't know. I'll, uh, but I've got to say, this spiral coil configuration is the only configuration that does that. All the rest of them have a funny sort of wavelength, but they don't do that. 
and as you saw it's pretty clean I'll turn it on again the first half of that, that part of it, because remember, I'm only using well, three phases out of the nine, so anyway, first experiment, so far so good, I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted and post your comments, thanks, bye for now.